In this video, we are going to solve some classic missing percentage problems given a part and a whole, but we're going to do it by translating the expressions into equations. I love doing it this way. Let's check it out. So we are given the words 14 is what percent of 20? So I translate this as I read it. So 14 is, meaning 14 equals, so I got 14 equals what percent? Well, that would be an unknown amount. So equals x times 20. Now notice that our final answer is going to be a percentage. That's going to be important in a little bit. So all we need to do now is solve out that equation. That's it. It's as simple as that. So 14 is means equals what percent of means multiplication of 20. So again, practice doing these problems by setting them up first and then going back and solving them. So I practice that one and then I'll show you how I would do it if I were you. I'd come back to it and solve it out in a second. Because we want to get good at this kind of problem, we'll practice the tough part, the translation. This says what percent of 72, so that's an unknown amount x, of means multiplication, of 72 times 72 is equals 93. That's it. What percent unknown amount of 72 is 93? So now from here, I undo all that's being done in this equation and all that's being done in that equation. But I have now done the new part with translating. So again, in this problem, make sure that your answer is a percentage. Let's go back now and solve each problem. So in this problem, again, you had 14 is what percent of 20? We did the translation. I'm gonna solve by undoing multiplication of 20. So I divide, of course, both sides by 20. And I do 14 divided by 20, I will use a calculator to do it in that exact order. 14 divided by 20 in a calculator, you will get x, that cancels, is equal to 0.7. Well, what is that as a percentage? That's a decimal. This is 70 hundredths, right? Or 7 tenths, 70 hundredths. And so that as a percent is 70%. Or you can move your decimal point one, two places to the right and get your 70%. Awesome. All right, on to this one. So now again, we had what percent of 72 is 93? So we're going to solve this by undoing multiplication by 72 by dividing both sides by 72. And then when I divide both sides by 72, I'm going to get one heck of a gnarly decimal. This cancels out. I get x is equal to, and I've got that decimal off to the side right here, and it's gonna be 1.29, 1.2916 repeating, oh my goodness. So how do we convert that into a percentage? Well, let's round that percentage to the nearest tenth of a percent. So first things first, you can either move your decimal point two places to the right, right, because you are literally dividing that number by 100. That's what the percent is, it's this number out of 100. So we need to multiply it by 100 to figure out how many hundredths this thing makes up. So that would be 129.16%. If we're rounding it to the nearest tenth of a percent, I need this number rounded up, and so that's gonna be 129.2%. There you have it, peeps. A different way of solving these problems without proportions. I am all for the direct translation that equations afford us. Go rock some of these problems.